I never liked studying long sequences of algorithms and l learning them all by heart. Uh, to me, F12 in particular has always been intuitive. So in that sense, I made this full F12 intuitive tutorial for you people uh, so that you can learn how to match the corner edge intuitively, in regardless where they are in the cube. And rather than having 41 cases, I'll be displaying about 12 of them, but they're mirrored, so in reality it's 24, whatever. So this tutorial is not for beginners. There's a lot of good beginner tutorials on F2L on YouTube. I might make one eventually, I don't know, if I had the time. And this is not an expert tutorial either, because if you are, just go and learn all the 41 cases. This is kind of like an in-between thing for advanced F2L. Uh, so yeah, here we go. You guys ready? Note that in this tutorial, I will always be referring to the blue-red edge and the blue-white-red corner piece when it comes to inserting the pair. Also note that I will go through specifically only one version of the algorithm. I will do that on this cube, and then I will do the quick mirrored version on another cube without going through the moves. You should be able to figure out the mirrored version of the algorithm by yourself. It's really not that difficult. This is case 1A, when you have both the corner piece and the edge piece on top. Uh, both have the matching same colors on the up face. In this case, I do R prime, and I spin around the top layer until it matches and then do R to pair them up and then just insert them into the slot. Here's the mirrored version. This is case 1B. Uh, this is one still, both are on the top face. Um, in this case we have both colors swapped. So uh, we need to put this one on the back like this. And then we apply one of the most basic algorithms. It's R U R prime, and then send. And this is the uh, mirrored version of that. This is case one C. Still, both the corner and the edge piece on the top layer. But in this case, we have the white sticker pointing upwards. So in this case, we need to position the edge to match its face color with the center piece. So here it's blue, blue. And then you flip this side of the cube to the opposite color that of the up color, the, the up sticker color of this one. So here's red and here's red. So in this case, you need to turn this one the other way. And then you spin the top layer and position the matching corner piece on top of the edge. And then flip it back. And then you will have your pair and then just insert it into the slot. This sounds like a little bit complicated, but you can actually do it quite fast if you have it on the right side of the cube. Like that. This is case 2A. This is when the corner piece is on the top layer and the edge piece is in the middle layer. In this case, we have both stickers matching on the face side. So in this case, I would like to hold the cube oh, uh, so we have those on the back. And then do the algorithm U, R prime, U, R. And that will create the pair and just insert it. And this is the mirrored version of it. This is case 2B, which is very similar to 2A, but in this case, uh, we don't have the matching face colors here. Instead, we have different colors. It's very similar. So in this case, you do U, R prime, U prime, R. And that creates case number 1B again, which is one of the most basic cases where you put it down. Here is the mirrored version. And that just puts them to slot like that. This is case 2C. This is when you have the white sticker facing upwards rather than to the sides. And in this case, you're kind of lucky if you get this because then you already have the pair right here. So all you need is to yank it out. So all you do is R U R prime in this case. And then 
you have already free here, so just insert to the slot. This is case 2D, which is similar to 2C, but in this case we have the color swapped. So in this case, there's really no easy uh, shortcut or anything. You'll just have to yank this piece out and then revert to case 1C. Uh, there's just really no shortcut. So all I do here is just take it out, put the cube back in normal state, and then I just go to case 1C uh, and then just put it like this. Uh, there's really no other shortcut. I really try to find some, but there really isn't. But if you do this on the right side of the cube, you could really do it fast. It's really not that difficult. It's all about uh, just getting used to the movement. Sorry. This is case 3A. When the edge is on the top and the corner is on the bottom with the white sticker facing down, uh, you have to make sure that both color stickers are, are matching on the front face of the cube. In this case, I do U, R, U prime, R prime. And that pairs them up like this. Then just insert them to the slot. Uh, if you have the corner piece here and the colors do not match, you just flip it to the other side so you can find a color matching on the front face. And then this is the mirrored version of it and then just put them in. This is case 3B where you have still uh, edge on top and corner at the bottom. In this case we have the white sticker facing one of the sides rather than down. Uh, you want to make sure that you have the c same colors on the front face of the cube. In this case I do U prime, R, U, R prime. And this creates one of the most basic cases, case number 1B, where we just do like this to put them into the slot. Here's the mirrored version. This is case 3C, uh, very similar to 3B, but in this case we don't have facing match color stickers on the side. So here's the edge, here's the corner, white sticker to the face. In this case, you're actually quite lucky because all you need to do is pull up the side of the cube and then you'll have the matching colors, which you can pair. You can just yank it out like that and then insert into the slot. Here's the mirrored version. There you go. This is case 4A. This is when you have the edge in the middle layer and the corner on the bottom layer and their colors do not match. Uh, they're both in place on top of each other, but the colors do not match. In this case, I do R, U prime, R prime. And that creates case number 1A, which is the basic case where you just hide this edge, put it back into position, and then just put it into, into place. It's quite easy, actually. This is case 4B. This is when you have the corner piece on the bottom layer and the edge piece in the middle layer. In this case we have them both uh, diagonally placed from each other uh, but not on top of each other. So in this case you want to make sure that you have both stickers on the same face. So what you do here is R2 U prime R2 U R2. It's pretty nifty shortcuts. It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult at first but you'll get the hang of it, and since it's just R and U moves, it's pretty uh, basic. So it's there you have it. So there we go. I'm very well aware of that I didn't go through all the cases, but that was kind of the point of this video, not having to go through all the 41 cases of the F2L. There's probably a lot of shortcuts and a lot of uh, th quickie things that you can do, but this is kind of m the most basic positions and tricks that you can use. So I really hope you enjoy this thing and also remember that it's intuitive so you'll have to learn to do it from the all sides of the cube without doing too many cube rotations. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Post a comment or two if you think that I missed something or should do some stuff better. So uh, cheers!